Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a variant of the Porsche Tosh. Now, the hook I have on the vice is a size 8 Partridge Patriot double. The thread I'm going to start off tying the fly with is uni thread 80 in white. So we'll just come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Get the thread started, remove the waist tag. The tag and the rib on the fly is going to be an ultra wire. Um, UTC and chartreuse so just catch that in underneath the shank then bring your wire underneath the shank and just simply run your thread down tying this in now, I'm just going to bring my thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook and then I'm going to come around with five turns of the ultra wire to create the tag on my last turn bring it up and in between the two hooks now just keep the wire in underneath the shank and then just simply work up your thread tying this in and then just fold it back on itself this will do for the rib and just work our thread back down tying this in now i know it seems like a bit of a waste of material and maybe even thread get up and down but trust me it'll make a far stronger fly when you do that I'll just let me show you that's it that double drown on itself and tied in just make, makes this fly last a wee bit longer and that you don't want to be at the face in the middle of the, the middle of the salmon season now the body the body is going to be an opal mirage tinsel and large just show you the spool that's it there Right, a bit here from the last couple of flies that I tied, so just tie this in, bring it in the length of the body or so, and then just run your thread up, tying this in. Now, if you use a different colour of thread, say like chartreuse, you'll get a different flavour or different colour of the Opal Mirage tinsel once you wind it up to create your body. So we'll just come around with our opal mirage. If you use the white, it just helps to keep that opal, that shine on the on the tinsel. Now all I'm doing here is, is just one turn overlapping the other. And if you've got large, it really helps to cover quicker. Then we'll just secure that in with a couple of turns. Come in, remove the waist tag. Then we can bring up a rib. And you're looking four turns of the chartreuse wire onto the body. It's plenty. Just to protect it up to there. Follow it around with the thread. And I'm just going to keep it in underneath. And run the thread up, tying it in, keeping your thread tight. Bend and break away the wire. Now there's just a bit of fluff there. Let's take that away. Now I'm going to change over because I want the head to be black. I want to use Uni 3881 black to finish off. So simply tie over your white thread. Nothing complicated to it now. Just keep your waist tag of your black and your white together. And you can just come in and trim those away at the same time. Now the first part of the, the wing on the original pattern was a fluorescent yellow fox or her mobile her what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this this is a chartreuse thin raccoon now get this stuff out get this material off any of your local fly tan dealers or tackle shops it's not hard to get or if you can't get it off that you'll get it off fan yards so we'll just trim that away just take away any rubbish from the bottom I don't want all the guard hers in, so I'm just going to take some of those out. And then we'll just offer this up to the hook. Now, you can have this as long or short as you like. You can have it long. You can have it short. It's up to you. It's your fly. I'm just going to have it about a length and a, a half of the hook over the back. Around with a pinching loop. And then a couple of turns to hold. Right, just come in and see what way we're sitting. Okay, I'm enough of that. 
that all the way is will just come in, trim away the excess. Just make sure we get it all. Got the wee bits there, take that away. And I'm going to put some flesh into the wing. Enough, two strands of UV crystal flesh. It's the micro flesh stuff on my desk from the last flag. So I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Just up into the wing. And I'll come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns to hold. Now, I'm just going to fold this back and bring the thread turns back up over. Just keep it all in the wing. Just come in and trim that bit the length. Next part of the fly. This is just a Chinese cock cape, dyed fluorescent yellow. So we'll just get a nice haggle off. And a post horse is a good fly to have in your box, especially for coloured water. It's a good fly to have in your box all year round, really. Now, just what I've done is just stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Start for this up to the hook room with a couple of turns to hold. Fold back the tip of the hackle, bring your thread back on top. Then you can come in and locate the tip, you can bring it away. And I just come in with my scissors and just run it up the stem with the, the hackle. And we'll just stroke these back and do one turn in front of the other. Now the turns of haggle are entirely up to you. Some people like them sparsely dressed. Others people like them heavily dressed. It's entirely up to yourself. I suppose it depends on the water that you're fishing plus the fibre that's on the haggle. Now that'll do me there. So I'm just going to come around with a turn. A couple of turns to secure. Come in. Remove the stem of the haggle. Now, anything that's going forward just come in and fold it back. Bring my thread tight up against the haggle. Now, next part of the wing is going to be the black, the thin raccoon and black. Now, like I say, lovely mobile fiber of some here on my desk that I had already prepared. Now, I just want this slightly longer than the chartreuse part of the wing. I'm just going to come around pinching out a couple of nice tight turns just to hold it in position. Now, I'm just going to come in here with my nail and just want to spread it out across the across the fly and then come in with my scissors get the waist ends trim them away. Now, just hold the wing Nice tight turns with your thread just to make sure it's all nicely tied in and back up. Now we're not looking too bad. Well it looks bulky. Trust me this will reduce in the water. Once this has had a swim this will reduce. Now uh, <coughs> excuse me last part of the fly. Jungle cock. On the original pattern it's orange jungle cock. Jungle cock dyed orange that's used. Right, I'm just going to use two natural eyes that aren't dyed. That's in there. So I'm just going to offer these up to the the hook. Then just come in. Just hold them on the sides. Get a couple of loose turns in. Just to hold. They're just there to hold. Then you can get them sitting the way you like. Right, just going to check length. Make sure that they're the same length. There's nothing worse than tan in your jungle cock and they're not the same the same length. Let's check it again. Yep, happy with that. So I'm just gonna hold the eyes. Tighten up, coming down towards the eye of the hook. I'm gonna fold back the the stems. And just bring my thread turns back up over the stems now. Just want to build my head up a wee bit here. It's a wee bit late for me. Nice and tight. 
keeping the thread tight. These the stems of the jungle cock should break away, which they have. All right, just come in and fix the, the wing, keeping your thread tight. Just come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight. Just shaping the head up there a wee bit. Come in, trim away the thread. Now, if I blow on this, it's so, the, the fin raccoon is a great material. It's so mobile. Fantastic for salmon flags. Now, first coat on the head, just to finish off. Instead of me rambling on super glue. Just on the head. All the way around and then once that dries I'll come in and put on a, a couple of coats of varnish just to finish everything off but just a wee bit of moisture on the wing just like to see it there you go guys now up in tandem this isn't for me this is for a friend so there's one there that he wanted to tag with the, the hot green head that's in a size 10 so he says 10 partridge paper double and then there's one there it's just ordinary just says 10 so just one tan them eights and tens it's the 10 there so look guys like i say good fly to have in your box particularly for colored water um you have in your box all year round just a slight variation all i've changed out is the color of the first part of the wing i've changed it to chartreuse um you could use fluorescent yellow so look Tie a few up, hopefully you can catch a couple of fish and many thanks for watching the video.